How much grief are you getting right now from uh, from your friends and neighbors around uh, around Wisconsin? No, no, it's just respect. It's uh, we respect the Packers so much, and I think the Packers respect the. 49ers, it's one of those classic games, been played for a long time. Uh, the Green Bay Packers with uh, Vince Lombardi would make that annual trip to the coast and play the Rams and the 49ers, goes way, way, way back. And, and I, I sense respect more than anything else. How much, of, uh, how much have you talked to, to Jim this week? Talked to him a couple times. Uh, uh, nothing really f about football, the X's and O's and things, just about the fact that they were in the playoffs last year, I think they learned a lot from that experience. And now to be having an, a second opportunity, I know they're really excited and excited that they were able to get the game in uh, San Francisco, playing in Green Bay at this time of the year, the old frozen tundra type thing of uh, Lambeau uh, Field. It's, uh, it's good for the 49ers, I think, that the game is being played in San Francisco. Does, does he get caught up at all in, in the fact that this is, you know, They've played some classic playoff games over the, over the years. Is 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 he well versed in that and get caught up in the in the history at all? I think a little bit. He's a real historian of football. I think both John and Jim are are historians. You know, they they grew up with college football, some of the places, the University of Michigan for seven years with with Bo Schembechler, and, and we were at Stanford at at one time as a hit. I was there as the defensive coordinator, and Jim was his junior and senior year. So they've been around the country. They've experienced uh, college football and professional football. Very familiar with Vince Lombardi. Very familiar with Bill Walsh and and the great uh, San Francisco teams. Amazing. Think about this. I mean, there's five trophies, uh, uh, Lombardi trophies in in San Francisco, and I think there's what three here in Green Bay. So those two teams, eight of the uh, Lombardi trophies are in their facility so uh, tremendous franchises uh, great coaches love uh, 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 Mike uh, McCarthy think he's doing a fantastic job a, a dear friend of my son-in-law's uh, Tom Crane and have so much respect for the job that he's done there so as I say it's one of those games that you know both teams are going to be well prepared you know both teams are going to be well coached now it's be decided in the three hours and 15 minutes by the players on the field and, that's exactly the way it should be. Have uh, talking, you know, to your to your other son who's got to make another a road trip. Uh, you know, how's how's he doing? Uh, getting ready for the for the game against Denver. I think he's. Uh, they've played him. They played him about five weeks ago and, and didn't play well. Uh, they uh, they were beaten fairly soundly, and so it's an opportunity in football to to make amends. It's an opportunity to. You know, to come back and play a team that you've played and, and as I say, didn't play well and, and a chance to, uh, to reverse that. And, of course, Peyton Manning, I mean, uh, he's having just such a fantastic year and, and playing in Denver, their, their challenge is going to be difficult, but I'm, I'm uh, confident that they'll be ready to play. Okay. We, have a light, we have a light pop out on us there momentarily. There it is. All right. Go ahead. Um, no one missed a beat. <laughs> Everybody went on as if nothing had happened. happened. What? I mean, I know that there's a lot of football left to be played, but what would it be like for you if Jim and John squared off in the Super Bowl? Their team squared off in the Super Bowl. I, I can honestly tell you, we don't think much about that. My wife and I, we don't talk much about it. We don't talk much about it with other members of the family. We just don't talk about it. If, uh, if that happens, then that's, that's something we'll deal with when the, when the time comes. But you really, in this business, you live week to week. I mean, uh, last week, and now it's this week, and then it'll be next week, and then you just kind of allow it all to play out. We had the experience a little bit last year at Thanksgiving time. Uh, Thanksgiving night, the two of them played in Baltimore, and I want you to know it was not a real enjoyable experience. It was so much fun to watch them on the field, but once the game started, I mean, your emotions are, are torn. Uh, you, know, you, you, you know, you don't have any place to go. And uh, on Tuesday before that game, uh, uh, Peyton Manning's dad, Archie, called out of nowhere. And he says that he and his wife were sitting and talking, and they realized that what we were going to experience on Thursday, they had experienced a couple times with, uh, with, with Peyton and Eli, 
And he said, but it's different in our situation. We just root for the offense. You know, when Green, or when, uh, when Peyton was on, on out, we're rooting for him. When Eli's out there, we're rooting for him. For you, I mean, it's, you can't be rooting for just offense or defense. You're just rooting for the team. So he saw it all together different. He gave us great advice. And he, it, it, this was the advice. This will soon pass. <laughs> and it did. And that was the best advice we got through the entire week. Now, you mentioned, uh, you know, we, we've mentioned, uh, you know, both, both your sons and you mentioned Tom. What is your day going to be like on Saturday? Well, you wake up early in the morning and, and then you just look at the clock. It'll be 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, one hour, and it'll be time to, to play the basketball. And then you get in it and, and then it's, it's, it's fun. You can watch and you can enjoy and root. And then that game will be over and then you'll get ready for the next one and then the next one. It's, uh, it's just, it's emotional. It's uh, a time when you can be proud, but yet anyone that's watching this can relate to watching their sons or daughters compete in anything, whether it's athletics or music or uh, recital or anything of that nature. When you sit and you watch your young ones, you know, compete, uh, the anxiety you feel, the pride that you feel, uh, it never changes. And our kids are now in their 50s and we feel that same pride and that same anxiety and that same enthusiasm we felt when they were in the third and fourth fifth and fifth and sixth grade so it'll be a long day but it'll be one that uh, we hope turns out well what is gonna what is life gonna be like in the, the Harbaugh house on Saturday just a small gathering big gathering oh it's just us we don't we don't uh, we don't we don't uh, have friends or, or guests I mean it's, it's just us and and we can, uh, we can yell at that screen, and when those calls don't go our way, we can tell those officials what we think, and sometimes we can, uh, we can yell and scream, and, and all we're embarrassing our, would be ourselves. <laughs> and the optimal, the optimal conclusion when you wake up Sunday morning? It's an amazing thing as a coach. The thing about it is you wake up Sunday morning after a day like this, and you wake up and the first thing you think is, oh, we won, and you feel good, or you, we didn't win, and you feel, and you feel badly. It's, uh, you almost have to relive the experience of Saturday when you wake up on Sunday and find out what the result is. So uh, hopefully it'll be one of those Sundays where you wake up and you got the hat trick. You know, hopefully all three win and, and we'll feel that same satisfaction and, and pride that that we would feel uh, win, lose, or draw, the, the pride of having them compete at that particular stage. You think you'll talk to Jim again before, uh, before Saturday? Uh, might. It's one of those things he just, he'll, he'll just call or John will just call or Tom will just call. And it, it's usually just to hear a voice and maybe run something by you that not related to their sport whatsoever, just something that might come up that they want to experience. And that's the beauty of all, all three of our kids is they, they do involve us. They, they keep us involved and, and sometimes, you know, I think it's just that they know that, that we need that, that opportunity to express ourselves. So they'll call just to, to allow us to, to be who we are. So we appreciate that very much from our children. And with all these years in football, there's probably not too many more words of wisdom to share three days before the no, game is there. there. We used to have a thing in Koya, the hay is in the barn. It's not in the barn right now, but I guarantee you about two and a half days from now, the hay will be in the barn, and then it will be it the way it should be. They got a team. We got a team. Let's keep score. Find a winner. That's what it's all about come game day, and I think we're quickly approaching that particular time.